All right, everybody, let's get down to business. We still have some time that we're trying to make up for after the restart. Uh, said restart. Shout out to Cody for the 145 bits. <laughs> Ken, if you haven't heard of the Tragically Hip, don't admit to it. You'll piss off the Canadians. Um, we, we have been terrible this season. As you can tell, uh, we have been absolutely dreadful. This whole... Having to restart thing, going through season one. We won four games the first time we did season one last time. Uh, we have very much not won four games this year. Um, we have been, uh, we've been bad. We've been real bad. A 10 point deficit is the least amount of points we've lost by so far in the first five games. Uh, this, this is going to be a very, very, very bad year. Very bad year. It's all about the recruitment, um, which the good news is in terms of said recruitment, um, it's gone okay so far. Um, you know, we got a couple of options we still got to get, but uh, it comes down to whether or not this man right here who didn't lock us out when we were in first and then locked us out eventually, if he'll change his mind about our playing style, but I don't think he will. I think he views us as being absolutely dreadful. Uh, so we're probably not going to get Brett Cole. Why the restart? Uh, I have it posted up on Twitter, Heffery, to explain what happened. It'll be a little bit easier uh, than trying to sum it up again. Just check out that link in the uh, description. In the description. Not the description, the chat. There you go. That's that's that. Anyway, let's keep moving on. We got a bye week coming up. Thank God. We won't have to get absolutely pooped on. Uh, but we are going to get pooped on recruitment-wise. We miss out on two offensive linemen, uh, which we still needed three offensive linemen, so that's not uh, that's not great. Use my school screen in recruitment for more details about playing style. So in terms, then, of how playing style is decided, is that factored in just by us being dreadful? So playing style is a measure of how well a specific recruit will fit what you do. It depends on what team, what stats your team produces, how those stats align with their recruit. So it literally just cause does come down to us being dreadful. Um, you can check how it fits each player type, though, which is good. Uh, so hold on. Hold on, hold on. If we're going to try to salvage this situation for this really good QB, which we're starting to really fall behind West Virginia now, He's a scrambler. I actually didn't have to back out of that, did I? Didn't have to back out of that at all. Shout out to Alex for the 56 the months on the primer. Alex, thank you very much for that. Oh, Hope you've been geez. well. Highly unnecessary. And uh, that was yeah. the Patriots out, uh, and of course, he's been asked to leave the ball. I almost lost my train of thought. Piece of pizza. <laughs> scrambler. There we go. Uh, so how to improve a scrambler? Is it going to show me? Or is this glitched? It might still be glitched. I mean, Scrambler, it's still showing passing yards per game. Which is interesting. Alex, I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Um, I mean, again, we do have an option-heavy running game, but if we're supposed to get more passing yards in there. That's, uh... It's a bit of a shame. We might have our work cut out for us a little bit then. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to turn this around in terms of being able to get this guy. It's not looking too good. Not at all. Baseball fan, what's up? What's up, what's up? Um... Uh, Honestly, I mean, the sub's there. That's fine. Nothing much you. Not much, man. Ready for more of this game. How could I not be? So we have the power spread offensive scheme. Right? The 
We need to up our passing yards. I come home from a long day and see you. Obi, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Happy to have you here. Although, hopefully, uh, you're entertained by this team being dreadful because that's all we're getting so far. So, if the power spread isn't necessarily going to work for us in terms of our quarterback throwing enough. We might just have to go with the outright spread offense. We could also go for the spread option. Which might have us throw the ball a little bit more. Or even veer and shoot could work for us a little bit. But if we got to throw the ball more to try to get this uh, quarterback to be a little bit happier with us, I think the spread option is probably our best bet right now. Hawks, what's up? What's up? What's up? So even though we have the power spread scheme, we're going to change up the playbook for the moment. Uh, and let's see what we can do recruitment-wise then. And I, I highly doubt we still end up with this quarterback, but we can try. I think we probably made this adjustment too little too late. We missed out on a three-star offensive lineman and a one-star tackle. Let's get the guys that we have brought in set up. How's the college football? So, Grooming-wise, we're okay. On the field, we're dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Stop. So what's up, man? All right. Uh, let's reorganize you guys up to the top. I think what? Yeah, seven. Oh, we have eight recruits so far. That's not bad. It's not bad. We still got a ways to go, though. Very, very much so. Okay. Uh, so now... Oh, man, we actually have way more than that. Hold on. Whoops. We have a lot more dudes locked up already than I thought we did. It's my nephew's one-year birthday. <sighs> And I have I have nephews uh, that are eighteen. You know the joys of being the the youngest of five. Um, <laughs> I have a nephew that was born on my birthday when I was twelve. The bastard, <sighs> fucker, stole my birthday. <laughs> but uh, Stubbs, get ready. the uh, The greatest sign of oh man, I'm getting old is all of a sudden when you see nieces and nephews that are. Like, you blink, and all of a sudden, they're teenagers, and you're just like, oh, my God, what the hell happened? And then you blink again, and it's like, oh, you're 18, and going up. Like, I have a nephew that's going off to school, and it's like, what the fuck? Um, hey, early streams, man. Early streams. Tis the season. You haven't missed much at all, though. Tis the season. Um, but actually, since you said that, since people might have missed that we live. The one turns four in December. Being an uncle's fun, man. Up until <laughs> they become a teenager. <laughs> they just become jerks. It's ridiculous. Oh, I have a niece. She's hilarious, but she's a fucking jerk. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, first and foremost, is anybody ready for a visit? Emmanuel Thomas. Let's get you scheduled when we take on Rice in week 14. Wait until the kids start having kids that are teenagers. Oof. Not ready for that. <laughs> Not ready for that. All right, let's see. Interest status. Who's at the bottom here? So Emmanuel Thomas. So it's a good thing we're putting the 50 on him. Uh, Bernie Griggs. Let's try to flip the story on Bernie Griggs. We also have Marco Armour. Corner out of Miami. Get rid of Cole unless it's glitching a situation locked out. No. We're fighting. We're fighting, damn it. We're fighting. There's a strategy to it. Uh, 
whoops. Do we have anybody up here that has a crap load of hours on him? Yeah, we do. Chauncey Graves. But he was the quarterback that I got to keep the hours on. So uh, we'll just put the 20 hours. I think I'll never get old because I have no kids. No kids to call me grandpa. <laughs> you know, I, I I like the outlook. I don't know if it's going to work out for you, <laughs> but I like the outlook. Oh, man. All right. Week number seven. Ready for us to lose again. We're really good at that. Hey, we got one star corner. Brian Bonilla from Hollandale, Florida. That is the final uh, defensive back that we needed. For our team needs. So now we just need a quarterback and a couple more offensive linemen. <laughs> Cratch, you're insane. Cratch, I'm not even going to tell people what the hell you just texted me for a potential emote. Jesus Christ. But I'm glad I could help you figure out your marketing. <laughs> we got another free safety. Andreas Coward, also out of Florida. Apparently Florida is my ultimate pipeline. And unfortunately, Brett Cole is gone. Uh, our playing style and the lack of uh, any sort of success on the field scared him away. So Cole is gone. Did, Gra did Crash send a titty pick? No, he, he. That's that's for later. Well, because that just happened, uh, let's go back to the power spread because I genuinely don't mind that playbook. Um, but there will be no four-star quarterback to kick us off here with this challenge, which is. Very disappointing, and now we have to outduel Boston College for Chauncey Graves, or we're not going to be looking good at QB at all. Uh, we don't really, that's right, we don't really need Bernie Griggs. Um, so I'm not even going to schedule you for a visit. I'm just going to put five points on you. If you come here, you come here. Uh, Buck Stonehouse. Great name, Buck Stonehouse. Uh, we got Thomas, Chad Thurber. You know, I think we got to branch out a little bit more here. It's either we try to lock down the guys that are on this list now, or we try to branch out to a few more recruits. I think that's the way to go. I'm almost caught up with the last two hours of yesterday. I got this. And Gad, I believe in you. I believe in you. In fairness, those two hours you could probably skip because we had to restart. So right now would be the perfect time to be like, you know what? Actually, I'm good. I'm just going to just going to continue on from here because of that restart. So that was the uh, the unfortunate news of last night is we managed to break dynasty mode badly enough that we needed to restart. How far behind are we from Marco Armor? I mean, we're not. We're fucking crushing it. So if we... Drop you down to 10 points. Where are we for Buck Stonehouse? I think we can drop pretty much all these guys down to 10 points and then try to get more targets on our list here. That looks like a decent, decent little option for us. Oh, give me to listen to Spotify. Please. Please. Thank you. So 10 points on everybody there. We'll keep 50 points on the quarterback that we need. Uh, but now it's literally who else can we get? Can we start taking a shot for some of the, the better talent that I wasn't too confident in our ability to get? Um, we'll see what we can do there. So one-star pipeline will be fine. Two key breaking games 10 years later is nothing new. That's fair. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Uh, who could we possibly go for? Am I prioritizing FC25? Probably, yeah. Not, like, too amped up about, like, oh, they're adding this, they're adding that, but I'm intrigued, at least. Alright, so it is better to sort by this. So, three-star quarterbacks with a one pipeline. Add those. Because at least these guys have some interest by default. Someone like Gibbs does not. So we might as well go for guys that have some interest out of the gates. 
Although O'Dowd, two star, two pipeline. Again, I think. Oh, what's the best way to go about this? What is the best way to go about this? I mean, this guy has his fourth on his list, but no pipeline, so we can't really fight all that well for him. We need at least a somewhat of a pipeline rating. NHL 15 released almost 10 years ago. Do you feel old yet? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Highest stage with no offers is also a possibility for like four stars. But then again, there might not be anybody. And then three stars. We already had some three stars on the list. So that's not a big deal, right? Yeah. All right. And then for the one stars, we also didn't have anybody at QB. Okay. So if we look at the QB list, um, we'll just throw some offers out to these guys and see what type of progress we've made. See if we can make up any ground whatsoever, since there's somewhat of a pipeline rating and every single one of these guys at least had some interest in us. Outside of that... Let's look for four stars. There won't be any five stars, but literally any position. Is there a four star player? Is this running back Caleb Davis open stage one star pipeline? We could try to target him just for shits and giggles. I mean, we also have uh, Alan Calcaterra still out there. We'll target these wideouts and that running back. Just to see if we can make up any ground with scholarship offers, you know? We had Calcaterra on our list before, but... Unfortunately, that means we uh, do have to spread out the hours here. Go by interest status. We won't go for anybody new that we just added to the list because it's not necessarily worth talking to them yet. Uh, so Marco Armour, who we've already been talking to, said in the house. Same thing for Stonehouse. Do you replace Ball State again? We went with UConn this time. To have a, uh, a more accurate pipeline. Again, that was the thing we discovered about Team Builder. Whatever team you replace, uh, the game views you as being in that state. So being a team based in Maine, but having a pipeline in Indiana... Didn't make too much sense, did it? <laughs> uh, Freddie Moon, let's schedule you for a, a visit coming up here. All right, there we go. So recruitment-wise, we're looking okay. Oh, Stanford, the Stanford Cardinal. Will they be the first team that we beat? No, they won't. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, won't we? Uh, so let's go. What were their unis? It was blue. Dude with the home pants. There we go. That works. Tree better than moose. Yeah. <laughs> the tree is stronger than the moose. Welcome everyone to the All right. Oh my God! It's horrifying. We should have been Stanford just to see that more often. Holy hell! The best meme I've ever seen. Honestly, like this whole idea of promotion relegation still works so well just because it's really cool to see the dynamic uh, conference logos for both uh, Jersey and Field. Who decided on that being a good idea? Give them a raise, because it's a marvelous idea. Ah, we're not going to be able to return this. All right, well, we are going to uh, sim a bit, as we do, especially because there you see how the season's gone so far at quarterback. All right, gentlemen, let's see what you can do. If they can keep it close, we'll jump in to try to secure the win, but... 
That is highly unlikely. We are very much likely to be dominated here. We're down 7 nothing at the end of the first. Nothing too crazy. 14 nothing. 21-0. 21-3, 21-10. Okay, we started to push back a little bit. The end of the first half. 24-10. 31-10. It's over. It's over. Let's just wave the white flag on this one. We're down by 10 with two minutes to go. We're on defense, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we can do this. If we, uh... Go aggressive in trying to get the ball back. Uh, obviously, if we can hold them to a field goal or get a turnover, that would be amazing. Fast motion from the offense. The give is a work on that well, about that turnover idea. <laughs> well, if we can come up with the miracle play to get the ball back. Look at the fucking tree. We can come back with the miracle play to get the ball back. We might have a chance. Otherwise, it's GG's. He's got it down to the one I gotta call the timeout there. It's, it's GG's. We're gonna be looking at needing an onside kick. Which is very unlikely. Trying to break the plan on second and goal. And you can forget that sound effect was amazing. I hope that uh I hope that was as uh, funny for me as it was for you. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, oh shit. It might be getting a little tough to swap. Well, a hell of a goal line stand by the defense. That was a hell of a goal line stand. However, we now need a field goal block. This is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play with it. Which we didn't get. And that'll do it. We are going to fall to 0 and 6 on the season. As the trees will take us out. We know they're the Stanford Cardinal, but let's be honest. It's a tree. We're going to go for the return here just because we are desperate to score. We didn't make it very far. Time to air the ball out and hope for the best. You should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know That's Kevin a great grab. Get this forward a bit more. We got Buddy celebrate, even though we're getting pooped on. We're looking at CJ Peaks there, the right bumper. Dead. The defense coming up big. Oof. Oh, I need I know we need an onside kick. We're not even gonna score a touchdown in the first place, don't you worry. Had to step up in the pocket because it was collapsing. On third and long, no secret what he needs. Hit again. Jesus Christ, dude. Our offensive line, they're just being turn styled. Even with proper blocking matchups. Hit again. Wow. Yeah, we are we are no competition for Stanford at all. In fact, we got 24 points on them is shocking. Oh and six in our inaugural season. Yikes. Yikes. At least we put up 24 points on them. I mean, that's not bad, right? That's okay. But, uh, yeah, there's always next week. There's always next week. Let's just... Let's just move on, shall we? Let's just move on. That is, uh... That is painful. That is painful. Can't get relegated and disappear from the game. That's true. <laughs> We're on to Cincinnati. If a tree falls in the woods, no one's around to hear it. Does it make a sound? No, but I well, I it landed on me. Even though you said no one's around, we get the linebacker Buck Stonehouse. Not a, exactly a big position to need anymore, but we'll take it. We also get the corner Marco Armour out of Miami. 
A couple new recruits and a couple of the guys we tried to take a last second shot at have already locked us out. Good to know. I'm gonna look back at this a few months and just laugh. Yeah, especially when I don't get out of, uh, get out of the bottom tier of independent status and I'm stuck here forever. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Alright, so for the dudes at the bottom. We didn't really make up too much ground for Alex Mechi. We could still try. We're in first for Brett Samuel. That's pretty nice. Green. Uh, locked out for Caleb Davis. I mean, for some of these guys, we might as well just try. Except for Zach McCormick. We didn't make up any ground on him. But yeah, for some of these guys, we might as well just try and see what we can do. Uh, who is ready for a visit? Graves. We got to get that scheduled immediately. I'm not allowed to. Uh, Griggs. I don't really care about you anymore. Mechi. We'll get you scheduled for the game against Rice. Sell you on proximity to home. And Kareem Pride. Uh, we'll have to get you in here for the bye week. I can sell you on academic prestige. That's that's fun. All right. Aside from that, let's look at. I mean, we do have room for a couple more guys on the board, uh, but we got to make sure everyone is on at least ten points. Kareem, happy pride. There you go. Uh, Chad Thurber, we'll put you on to ten points. Briggs can stay on the five. Ten points for you. Manuel Thomas. Mm. That dude from Irving, New Jersey. Surprised he hasn't been shot yet. I'm guessing you're not a big fan of Irving, New Jersey. Or Irvington, New Jersey. Allen, get you on ten points. Nick Vereen. And Kareem, happy pride. Okay, uh, last thing we looked at was wide receivers. Just trying to sneak in there for some four stars. Who is a fan of New Jersey? I mean, not all of New Jersey's bad, right? Some of it's got to be okay. It's the Compton of North New Jersey. There. We have any other four stars that we can make a play for. I'm a fan of Asbury Park and Pam Bigelow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just gotta find the positives. R.I.P. Bam Bam. All right. Well, in terms of the four star hunting, uh, it's not going too well at this stage. It means we're gonna be down to uh, three star hunting. Jersey gave us springs. We're dead. George Brooks. Go after you. you won't be a four-star kicker or a four-star punter. All right. Uh, three stars. That may not have locked us out yet. Start in the secondary. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Got the Taylor Cheeks. Andy Sweat. Eric Queen. Um... Did I look at the guys at the two-star pipeline? I don't think I did, right? Because I was so focused on uh, three-star pipeline, if I could. So anybody that is a two-star, shout out to Philip President, by the way. We'll avoid the Juco. Let's go after Eric Queen and Andy Sweat really quickly. Last name Brooks. Does he put people in chokeholds after a verbal exchange? It's a non-zero percent chance. You know? There's always a chance. <laughs> All right, so scholarships to those guys, and then everybody else. Uh, for the guys that are at the bottom here. Right, we're sorted by player interest. Yeah, so the guys with the least amount of interest. Let's try to make up that ground, and if we can't, we can't. But hey, at least we are trying. All right, that is all we can do for recruitment this week. Southern Miss, they are 1 and 4. We are 0 and 6. 
Will it be 0 and 7? It very well could be. Very well could be. Let's see here. What can we do for a. Uh... You know, that jersey combination goes pretty hard. Ooh. Let's do that. Mills, what's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. We're about to get uh, absolutely mauled. This is our week. Homecoming. You can sense it through the Southern Mississippi. Let's see if this is returnable. I'm going to make the web. It is returnable. See what Tyson can do. Do it for the Nuggets. Nope. Okay. Gems boss challenge on this game could be doable. Uh, it could be. It would just be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. All right, gentlemen. Uh, we're so bad this year. We have no chance for promotion. So there's no point of playing every second of every game. So let's sim a bit and see how the boys do as they look for their first ever victory. We're up 14 to 7 at the end of the first as we try to ruin Brett Favre's day. Because if anyone deserves to have their day ruined, well, he's closer to the top of the list than the bottom. We're up 23 17 at halftime. This might be our best chance for a win. 23 20. At the start of the fourth, oh boy. As they get the ball. Southern Miss forced a punt. Oh boys, you can do it. You can do it. Get that insurance on your own. I believe in you. Forced a punt again. Southern Miss. Forced a punt again. Can we get the insurance? Forced to punt. 220 left. Mississippi take over. And they fail on fourth down with 124 to go. They still have timeouts. Gentlemen, I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to trust you here. I am going to trust you to win this football game on your own. No touching. Good first run. Go blue squares. Come on, you can do it. For our first ever program victory, we're at their 22-yard line. You can watch games. You sure can. Going to Super Sim, change the speed to slow. Third and two, a first down ends this game for our program's first ever victory. We're looking to throw out to the left. And we're going to go for it. Our coach elects to go for it. The run, and this game's over. For the first time ever. Tuglane wins the game. 23-20 over Southern Mississippi. Dan Campbell would be so proud of us going for it on fourth down. That is it. This game is over. They have finally won a football game on their eighth attempt. What a game for Jav uh, Javion Foreman. That was the worst pass I've seen in a football game. It wasn't great. Yeah, David, they just had ice but the there it is. Tremendous leadership on this football Sweet, game. beautiful God. victory. The or the Blue Moose of Tuglane. Look at our boys. Our boys. Thank God this wasn't a winless season. <laughs> because it could have been. Oh, my God. Oh, now, now you freaking throw the football like that. Just in time for that four-star recruit to say, nah, don't want to go here anymore. Now. Now you have a game like that. Jerk. 
you have to start over B because of that play? Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So technically, the first time we did this first season, we won four games. I don't think we're winning four games this time. But we indeed had to restart. It's a shame, but... There we go. Check the score. It says you lost. Did it? We won. Might have just been a glitch. I didn't even see it, but we got the win. We got 10 points out of it, baby. Ah, prophecy. It's okay. It was a pain in the ass, but we're good. Right tackle, Dion Markuk. Not your cuck. He's Markuk. That means we only need two more offensive linemen to fit the team needs. Welcome in Dion Markuk. We also get right guard Alex Lanier. So we only need one more offensive line. Once a deal breaker shows up, is that player gone for good? Not necessarily. Had we had more time, we might have been able to get back into good standing for what his deal breaker was. Uh, but unfortunately, he pretty much immediately said, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> so there we go our first ever win baby our first ever win worth in the long run I'm setting up dynasty in some fashion yeah. we draw Oregon State in week 9 uh, let's see what we can do for our coach skills here since we have 10 more points oh man we were uh... yeah oof alright uh I mean, it makes sense to do less time to scout, even if we don't uh, unlock everything this year. Still makes sense, but all right. Recruitment wise, what are we looking like? Boston College is ahead for Chauncey Graves. That's not good news, but at least we started going after the other quarterbacks. Championship week trying to remember, can I hire and fire new coaches in the offseason too? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just championship week what people are telling me last night so all right let's reorganize our list here buckstone house i mean 15 recruits 16 17 don't get me wrong they're not the highest rated players in the world but at least we're getting some new talents onto this team for next year all right uh we made no impact on andy sweat so he's gone. No impact for Eric Queen. No impact for George Brooks. Uh, we could still fight for Al Katera. Yeah, I mean, we can still fight for everybody else. Some of them are long shots, but we won't give up yet. Uh, let's go back to the defensive side of things. And we were looking at three stars that we might be able to uh, steal here. Better late than never. So. Preferably three stars with a pipeline rating, right? Maribel, Queen, Sweat. Do we go for anybody with a one star rating or do we just look at twos? Tremendous, by the way. Fun fun fact, Jays. I have that account blocked. Fun fact. Um, so we could go after these guys with the one star, but let's look at uh, at least a two star pipeline. Matoya, Priester. I mean, again, these guys. Please tell me that's Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. No, we might as well. Are there any three stars you already have interest on? We have looked at that before, I'm not mistaken. Um, honestly, it might be the way to go, just to double check, though. Not looking good in that regard, is it? A lot of them are already gone. Oh, there we go. Defensive end. Emerson, Newton, Kyle Cantrell, Channing, Rudolph. We'll try. I mean, why not? Do it for the cowbell at the very least, you know? Any other three stars that have interest? We might we might have to actually just get those that have interest. We might. I don't know. It might be better to look at two stars after this. So. Uh, and then there's wide receivers. 
Kevin Kinoy. I adore our list. Okay, uh, so for these guys, last second options, throwing out scholarships. Yeah, it's probably better to go after two stars that have interest instead of three stars that are total long shots. I mean, right now, it's about just the pure amount of players we can get into the program. Who's ready for a visit? Graves is ready. We'll schedule him for that bye week. We pretty much have no choice. Briggs, I don't care. And then Shane Waitman. I mean, I hate to have to schedule multiple quarterbacks in the same week, but we're running out of time to schedule these guys. Um, CFP 26 is going to be the exact same game, just with more cowbell. And who would complain? Who would complain? I mean, some people would, I'm sure, but, you know. Fuck is going nuts on the cowbell. Let's see, send the house for you, and then Waitman will add the extra five points. Yeah. So I do stink. I do. I do stink. This team stinks. Apparently, I stink too. I do think that we still, easy for me to say, have done a good job of recruiting in year one, even if we don't have like that one super top-notch guy that we know of uh, to build around. On the field, we at least are not going to go winless. We're probably going to get absolutely massacred by Oregon State here. Uh, but at least we'll know that we always beat Southern Mississippi. The Oregon State Beavers. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's see. Why do you think you're 1-6 in instead of 4-3 and three like before? Um, Scheduling. Because we're in that independent status. We don't have guaranteed games. Scheduling was more open. You know, that's why. Rahil, good to see you, my friend. It has been a while. Hope you've been well. Haven't, uh, I haven't seen anything from you aside from uh, what you posted on Twitter about the vacation. Independence on the bottom now, yeah. Boy, I missed a lot, yeah. Yeah, we decided independent was going to be on the bottom tier. Make sure conference games always mean more. Here we go. The Oregon State Beavers. The Beavers will boot it away to start the game. At least do the opening kick return. I gotta try to get back. Go Beavs! On the move from inside his oh, that's not great blocking! Oh, we almost broke the tackle. That would have been amazing. This is a bit well. Vacation was unreal. Love sailing. Right, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can, I can imagine. I can imagine. All right, gentlemen, you won last week. Oh, by the way, last week, uh, granted, the, the moment's gone, uh, but I, I didn't hit the button for last week. Again, whenever we get a victory without having to do anything, we hit this button. No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! They got it done on their own. I totally forgot to hit the button, but there we go. Let's see if they can do it again. They're not going to do it again. They're going to get murdered. Oh, they're going to get murdered this week. Oh, we're only down 7 nothing so far. That's actually not that bad. How soon until it gets worse? 7-3. to three. There we go. 14-3 at halftime. Yeah. This is more what we expect. And the Twins fell apart. I mean, when did the Twins not fall apart, though, you know? Especially to Milwaukee. Just to twist the knife a little bit. We're down 14-3 at the start of the fourth. Uh, let's jump in. Screw it. Let's jump in. See what we can do. See if we can get the boys back into this. Single back formation and they give it to him. Nice. Take that. Solid form tackle from this sophomore. <laughs> At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? And he makes the catch. Didn't make the grab. I thought he did. I thought for sure he got a toe in there. Okay. Yeah, there's the booth review. Should have known that was coming. He caught that. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the we win today. It's called two in a row. If that happens again next week, it's a winning streak. It's happened before. 
All right, third and two. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. Let's go, let's go. It's not letting me change to throw players. Finds a Free snap. Out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. The Beavers are rolling. Did I, like, accidentally lock myself to Garland? It's not letting me change. Get off the field there, and they just Anybody know what's up with that? Like, I literally cannot change off of Garland. As, uh, well, any chance we had of stopping this drive is now gone. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. This Why can I not change off of Garland? The bug? Oh, well, that's great. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. It's a player lock button, but I don't know what it is. Takes it down to the five. It's the off. Cash in. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive, even when you've got the lead late in the game. Huh. Like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball. Yep, still can't exactly switch. Exactly what this offense is doing. Here we go, here we go. Ready. He bullies his way. Inches, which console run, Xbox. And that was a nice Stick. second down run and setting up the third and inches. And now okay, okay, there was definitely a lock on him. Touchdown. Well, definitely showed the player lock, but I didn't see an option to unlock it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, even here, I can't switch. That's really weird. The problem is... Okay, well, we can switch here. That's good. All right, Buford. Doesn't have much of a spin move. They're not against Forrest, no left wing back. Frank, are you excited for uh, FC 25 square? of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond injury timeout for one of their guys okay that's not the worst thing for us oh boy are they threatening to the blitz max protect reacting to what the d is showing he's gonna pass on second down picked off Terrible throw by the QB. All I all I could do was hold left stick to try and place it behind the receiver, and he just overthrew the shit out of it. That's dangerous. I don't know if we were pressured and that forced the throw to be like it almost mimicked the lob, even though it was a bullet pass. He just kind of lofted the thing. Well, GG's on this one. I genuinely don't know why that throw was so bad. Wasn't trying to lead him by that much, but we should have gone to the guy behind him anyway, but even then that might have been pecked off if it was going to be that bad of a throw. We are not going to be able to complete the comeback here, obviously. That is GG's. Holy hell. Yep. Wow. One of the worst losses of the season at the hands of the Beeves. Get more lonely. Lost badly. It's yeah, not it's a lot to be too proud about in this one. Shit, here. Frank, that's fair. Anthony Hankerson kicks the crap out of us nearly single-handedly. I mean, only 51 yards, but he had the three touchdowns. Hmm. I'm just trying to walk through this fucking grass. Woo, shout out to I'm that guy, pal. <laughs> what a name. Screw the stats, dude. We lost 34 to three. We are moving on. Cincinnati. Bill Belichick. We're Cincinnati. How many passing yards did you cut? Cincinnati. How many turnovers? Cincinnati. We're moving on. <laughs> oh, this has been as bad of a first season as we ever could have hoped for. We land Willie Robinson out of Carrollton, Texas. That's the final offensive lineman that we needed. We now just need a quarterback. And all of our team needs are filled. Quarterback will not be Alex Mechie, however. Yeah, quarterback definitely takes top priority. We'll try to sneak into the running for some other people as Taj Coles was the uh, independent, easy for me to say, independent defensive player of the week.
with nine tackles and one sack because our defense was on the field constantly. <sighs> As we draw James Madison the next week, that's not going to be great. Uh, so for the QBs, we were locked out for Mechie. We're neck and neck with BC for Chauncey Graves. We're looking pretty good for Brent Samuel. Probably worth dropping out for Shane Waitman. But we won't. And then there's Pride. So, I mean, we got to land one of these guys. Please. Please, don't we? Okay. Uh, so let's change up our strategy here. Still glitched in season where you can't live in the games. Omega, we had to restart because it was a permanent glitch. Um, the player graduated, but he still showed up on my roster, meaning I still wasn't going to be able to get in the games. So we are redoing season one out of necessity, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, is what it is. So we're, we're trying to make the best of it. But yeah, we did have to restart last night, which is uh, a shame. All right. How are we looking here? Let's move up Willie Robinson. Uh, and then for the new guys that we tried to send last second offers to, Kenoy we look good for, Rudolph we look good for, Cantrell's a bit of a long shot, Newton also very much a long shot. Um, but let's get the bare minimum 10 points each on these guys, just to try and build up some interest and influence if we can. And then we very much have to focus on the quarterbacks. I don't think we're going to have any more points we can really afford to put on uh, for anybody else that might be on the open market. Which is a shame, because there's still some players we could fight for, but... Um, this feels like stakeout music in a spy movie from the 70s. <laughs> Damn it. At least that one part does. If you don't count them, can they still be a gem? Yes. Uh, scout them, that is. Yeah, so they, they will still technically be a gem. You just won't know if they're a gem or a bust without scouting. That's the that's the trade-off. But given how bad our program is, what's the risk, right, in not scouting somebody? Because even if they're bad, uh, they're still going to be better than who we have. So. Oh, James Madison. How many games do we have left this year? Is this the final one? Please. Oh my god, we have four games left. No. Oh man. Alright, well every game matters for our program prestige and everything, so. We host the James Madison Dukes. White, white, purple. Oh, goodness. The worst part is James Madison's probably one of the easier teams we've had on our schedule this year. That's horrifying because we're probably about to lose. Let's see what the boys can do. Always try the opening kickoff. Still very salty. I haven't been able to return a kick yet. And this one's going to be no different. It's just the worst season we've ever had on a CFB game. It's, uh, if it's not, it's close, man. <laughs> if it's not, it is incredibly close. All right, again, we are, uh, we're looking for comebacks. Does Endo edit your vid? Nobody edits my videos, dude. I just freaking record what we have from stream and put it up there. No editing required. There are certain projects where I might have Endo work on something, but also his, uh, you know, like in the past mainly because, you know, his job schedule changed and stuff like that. And if I upload stuff that's based more on actual sports instead of sports video games, people aren't as interested, if we're being honest. People love watching video games ruin my ruin my day. And it, uh, this game's doing a great job of it. We're down 27 to 13. <sighs> Let's try. Let's try. JMU with the ball. We obviously have to stop them. They'll run it from the gun. Oh, boy. Oh, boys. Boys, not like this. This running game moves the change as they get the first down. The Dukes will hustle to the line. 
it's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really Please. challenge your offensive line. To Anytime we can tackle somebody uh, before a massive gain, I consider it a success. Garland? Yes, Garland. All right. That works. One more stop, boys. Let's get this ball back. We're on the comeback trail. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. Get there, Garland! They were going to have to give him the football. Good effort by Garland on the D-line. Uh, we got to go for the block. Even if we end up getting a, uh, a penalty for it, it's worth the risk at this stage. We got to be aggressive on these comeback efforts. What a punt! Able to keep them from getting a return. God. All right, well, let's see if we can get any offense going here. A hell of a lot of linebackers in there, which is never great. If we can get them moving, we will. We couldn't get them moving. Help! Okay, I'm not saying that deserved to be a completion. Dude, if this is what James Madison's defenders are capable of doing. Look at this fucking play by this guy. Jesus Christ. What are you doing playing for JMU? Why didn't you go to Bama? Oh my God. There's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance. To they just him. load up the box. Sure right. To have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, wasn't just get some yardage out of it. His grades. He cares about school. He did come to college to play school. Right, this could actually work pretty well. Because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense. Well, we're going to go for it. I wanted a lob. That was certainly a lob. What difficult is this? We're on Heisman because I hate myself. They'll go for it on fourth down. That one could really put this drive into high. Whew. What on earth was that? The greatest lob you've ever seen. Little touch pass to the receiver. Oh! Oh, the big juke! Christ, we were capable of that the whole time? Weren't you on All-American? We sure were, but we bumped it up to Heisman because I hate myself. Remember when I said that? That's why. That's why I said that. All well, the people playing Road to Glory and basically just playing uh, go to college sim while not playing. Hey, there's an appeal to go to college simulator. At a boy Strickland. We might not be done here. If we can cap off this drive with a touchdown, we have a chance. Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at... Oh, my God! What an effort! Spencer Strickland! We're not done! Win number two might still be in sight. What an effort by Spencer Strickland. We actually got some decent blocking. We juked that one guy out of his shoes and then half hurtled over him, but we tripped him. Or tripped over him. And still made it into the end zone. That was the highlight of our season right there. <laughs> Juked the hell out of that guy. Tried to hurdle him. Tripped over him. But extended enough to get into the end zone anyway. Ridiculous. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. Okay. Well, we still need our defense to show up. Let's go to the which is never a guarantee. Overkicked. They got the game today. Gameplay felt way better than Madden. That's the the consensus, really. I mean, you, know, you can you can call certain issues out with this game. It's definitely not a perfect game, but. We'll circle back if anything big happens. You need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on. Come on, Attaboy Freeman. 
the Dukes want to crank the tempo. I forget how to pump up the crowd. What button were you supposed to hit for that? The first four minutes of the game Need the stadium to be rocking here on this drive. Get him! Get him! Okay. One more stop, boys. One more stop. Back button. Ha 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 ha. He missed! He missed! Let's go! The very rare three and out forced by our defense. We might actually have a chance here. Almost hit him. Jesus. And this looks like a situation where you should put the foot. Buford. Ah, oh, Buford. Okay. We have life. They'll try the run. Ah, Strickland just couldn't stay on his feet. Didn't get much on first down. Second and nine. So many linebackers. Oh my god. Uh, that's stand. Off the play fake. Oh God! That's gonna be intentional grounding. Oh, we were about. We still got murdered. It's third and nineteen. Absolutely nobody bought the idea. Nobody bought the idea. That that was a run on the other team. Third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He took a hit as he threw it. Absolutely horrific drive for the O line as we're gonna have to punt this right back. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Come on, he hit my punter. No return coming. That O line needs some work. A little bit. A little bit. Flag was thrown before the ball hit the ground. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the car. Our guys are so slow, and they can't tackle. Everybody. Touchdown, Duke. And there it goes. Tackles like water through a sieve. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity. So much for win number two on the air. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. He can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little Yikes. bit of Yikes. Showed you a little bit of burners when he kicked it in gear and got the long touchdown run. Elite tackling from the Blue Moose. God. Try to add another to their lead. Oh, we got so, so far to go. And the extra point is true. 62 yards on one play. Your fans look like me when McDonald's took his crap. Ah, Texky's on one tonight, huh? He'll bring it back from inside his five. Powers through. Took a chance. Dude, we can't block. Like this team never learned how to block. It's crazy. We just gotta air it out at this point. We have to score fast. He wants to throw. Fires one high and deep. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way kick returns to don't. Points. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. So nice Watch it cuts it to Glenn. They skip that They'll portion of the Zoom videos of practice. <laughs> He's looking to throw. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And he'll move he caught it. Incredibly tight window, but he did catch it. Great play. That was incredibly close. You get a chunk of yards like that. Now the defense is really on its heels. Uh, AJ more than likely, yeah. Ball is at the 35. It's first last play before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw it. Caught in the backfield. It's Once we get out of bounds, which hopefully that gave us credit. Him out of bounds after a short game. 
hey, the defense is going to give you those all day. We're late in the game now. They've got the big lead. Expect them to play big zone defense and try to keep the football. Good, we were able to stop the clock. One more play. They're just going to rally to the ball and just bleed this game out. Wants to throw on second down. No, we had B. We had him. You motherfuckers couldn't hold for half a second. Oh, we had him. Oh, my heart. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. <sighs> that one's incomplete. They were just trying to... Well, one more shot, one more opportunity. Instead, it's fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Move Strickland over. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. They're throwing for it on fourth down. No! Yep, there it is. Oh my god, the O-line, dude. <laughs> Fucking O-line. So close yet so far. 37-27, JMU. It was a winnable game, but... uh. We are so, so bad at the start here. It's nuts. Shadow Soccer, what's up? Oh, man. We have so far to go. So, so far to go. 2019 Giants level O-line. It's a good thing our quarterback's a senior because he might die if he were to play more than just this year.